Welcome to the Barstool College Football Show, the very last show of the 2023 football season. There are only two teams left. I already know how the show's going to go. Brandon's got his head in his hands already. Dave showed up smiling, happy. Before we do, though, when this airs, Jerry will be asleep because Jerry hit the hole in one right yes. before the show. So the vibes yeah, are Nobody, happy. all right, that's a different show. Nobody cares about that. that <laughs> I mean, that's a big moment, but let's not, like, sidetrack with the no, show. This is the I'm college not, football show. I'm not sidetracking. I'm saying the vibes are high, Dave, so I'm just going to let you go. There are only two teams left in the country. Michigan will be playing Washington in the national title on Monday night. How are you feeling? I feel great, you know. That Rose Bowl, one of the great college football games of all time. I've been blessed. I, I, I was, I'm so tired. I got a little cold. I'm trying to think in the Dave Portnoy pantheon of games. Malcolm Butler, 28-3, David Ortiz, uh, where that Rose Bowl fits. And it's up there, man. It's up there. I mean, I had a, I had a 1.1 million on Michigan. I I They dominated that first half more than you can dominate anybody uh, and I knew, I knew it's like they're only up three and they're playing sloppy bad. It should have been more. I've watched enough football. I was texting them like, this is not good that they're only up three. Then the total thing flipped and Alabama takes control of the game. And, you know, and everything flipped because Alabama was playing sloppy and making mistakes. And like they had a drive that just stopped because the Milro dropped the ball a couple times on snaps. It was like a reverse. And then I'm like, oh my God, we're dead in the water. And then it flips again. Just one of those all time games. I was privileged to be there. I won a shit ton of money. And, and it's not only that, it's the big bad SEC. And I like Alabama fans, but. You know, myself, Dan, Fat Ev, we've been sitting around, uh, Will Compton. We've been waiting for a leader to emerge from the Big Ten and say, you know what? We're going to take back college football and we're going to make Big Ten the kings of this thing. And finally, Michigan did. They took the best the SEC had to offer. And, and, I mean, we controlled the line of scrimmage. There's sacks. And we've talked about this. The signals, it's like the Patriots. I have a blood oath with Brandon Walker. I have a blood oath that that man made. And he was so confident. said, listen, I don't want to hear a goddamn thing about these signals and cheating. Because this happened before Penn State. So we had Penn State, Maryland, Ohio State, Alabama. Kings of college football, the signal thing. And what have we done? We've gone played man football, Michigan football, and we've dominated. And we dominated where it mattered, the trenches. I sat here. Oh, Milrow this, Milrow that. That's great. Guy can't throw. I've been, I said that the man can't throw a football. He's a good running back, can't throw. And I like Alabama. We out, we out crowded them 70 to 30%. Because we care at Michigan. We are Michigan men. We killed the SEC. We we put them to bed as we move into the playoff era. Now, having said all that, I don't care about Fat Boy. Ohio State's dead. Don't care about them. They're an afterthought. They're Purdue. I don't care about the SEC. They're dead. We killed them. I've seen some people being like, oh, you're lucky you didn't play uh, Georgia. I don't even know what that means. Georgia lost the SEC, okay? They they played Alabama, and they got their ass kicked, and then we kicked Alabama's ass. So I don't care about that. I'm worried about this Washington team. I thought this Washington team has been underrated and good. I've been betting on them. I think it's the best team Michigan has played. I think the spread is crazy. I think it's a coin flip game. But we got to finish the job. I know some people here, I said it at one point, it's successful no matter what if we win a playoff game. we got to keep elevating, elevating, elevating. But now we're sitting as a four-and-a-half-point favorite in the national title. Who knows where Harbaugh will be? We win this game. We own college football. We own it. The most wins in the history of college football, defending national champs. There's no discussion. We are the premier crown jewel in college football. It goes through Ann Arbor. We got to finish the deal. It ain't going to be easy. It ain't going to be easy. We got to finish the deal. I don't, uh, everyone on, except Dan, who, I, who, who I should root for the Big Ten, but everybody like Bram Walker's dead. Buckeye Brandon dead. Fat F dead. I think it's disgusting. 
the way Big F Trio, oh, you're finally beat a SEC. You guys haven't beaten an SEC team in 100 years. So I think it's disgusting <laughs> the way he handled it. But I don't care. I have bigger fish to fry. A national champion and a blood oath. This guy, I know Brandon Walker cannot believe what is going on. That Michigan is steamrolling their way to the national title. That we out I couldn't believe. I was talking to Rose Bowl people. I'm like, what do you mean it's 70 30 Michigan? In the crowd, we care about it more. We want it more. We're Michigan. Brandon, I know you want me to host a show. What do you want me to do? I mean, he. Tell him to wrap it up. No. Hey, two minutes is fine. Tell know, him to wait, wrap it up. Wait, this is your show, not his. Well, it's his team in the national title. I just lost you. Oh, now he can't hear us. So. Hello? After all that, now he can't hear us? Are we, us. are we even necessary for the show? I know, honestly, you know how when we were in Ann Arbor, Dan was like, we should just put Dave out yeah, on a yeah. stage? That's what we should have done for this it's show, too. Moment. Like, it this, sounds different. You got to let him have his moment. It, Brandon, if Mr. You guys are trying to sabotage was me. in the national now championship, I can't hear you I'd let all. you have your moment, too. But he wouldn't. And he wouldn't. I would Dan would. Dan, Dan just let Dan just if Dan just let he was in the national title, Anyway, let him just let him talk. Let him talk. Let's all just sit here as Dave just talks and talks and talks and talks and talks. I would let What do you want, Walker? If Mississippi State yeah. was you like wouldn't shut the national phone. You just title. keep talking. Just keep talking. Well, well, keep well, lying to the people. Keep lying to the people about how easily you beat Alabama and how many fans you had out there and how all this well, thing really won in overtime. He didn't say it was easy. He did say it was easy. No, but he said it was a war. He said it was a war. He said they kicked Alabama. Well, they did on the line of scrimmage. He's lying. No, I listen, Dave. Dave, everyone in the world, I've given this speech before. You need a, an emotional ga- uh, support gambling friend. Dave was texting me throughout the game, like, you know, th- this is bad at halftime when we're only up three. We're dominating them. It's flipped, the punter, all this stuff. He knew that was a war. He, he we said got it was a war. special team to death. To yeah. death. The punters were flipping that field 30 yards. Their field goal kicker was bombing 53 yards. That would have been good for 60. But what changed. And it changes the mentality of Wisconsin. And I fat up. I swear to God, I'm seeing Ohio State fans now being like, hey, Michigan's so good. Maybe we're better than we thought. There he goes again. You haven't seen a Big Ten team <laughs> stand up to an SEC team in the trenches like that in forever. We weren't being moved off the ball. We were controlling it. We put a stake in the SEC and said, we own the line of scrimmage. And it was a similar game almost to Ohio State. The Alabama had that one drive where they ran it down our throat, and then Michigan woke up and said, you're not doing that again, and they didn't. But I, I've seen the other games. Like when we played Georgia in the past, right away, it was like, oh, my God, we're getting blown off the ball. It was the reverse. It was Michigan is back, and we're going to be the crown jewel of college football. Well, well. There's still Washington who won the other playoff game. You got to beat them first. Yeah. So let's just go into the game preview because I feel like if not, we will be talking about the Rose Bowl forever, which was, by the way, one of the best college football games we've seen in a long time. It was the, a good, it was it a close was, college football game. Yeah, it was no, not it a great college football game. It was but, not a great game. But in a semifinal, which we've seen so many bad semifinals at the Rose Bowl, yes, it's in the way it that it close. did, it great. But close. Dave, you agree because I was arguing was with people online. Game. Yeah. Yes. The first three quarters, people were like, you don't like defense? Like, no, I like defense. The offense was sloppy. Like, JJ. McCarthy was bad. Jalen Miller was bad. The fourth quarter was in overtime were phenomenal theater, and that was why we watched sport. And the Sugar Bowl, I, also I phenomenal theater. Michigan beats them if they play 95 out of 100 times. Okay. I honestly I think, think they're better. and unicorns are real, too. <laughs> Let's move what on that to mean? the national what title. What does that mean? We, we the beat the hey. it means? Well, well, well if they, like that, that's what the loser says. You went to overtime. What you just said you is what the overtime. loser says. Walker, what you just said is what a loser says. It's like, hey, if we lost you that said game, what I'm a like, fucking oh, liar I said. think you if said, we play him 100 times. You took times, an overtime game. Fuck, we're, going, we're going to Houston, and Alabama's going home. So I don't care. You get new unicorns. You know it's the real world? We killed the SEC, and we're in the national title. Bet. That's the real world, Walker. Go. Can we move? Okay, I was going to make sure that you were going to have a rebuttal, and I, we're going to get to Ev. By the way, like the fact that he's yelling at you more than Ev should well, say something. Well, B- Big Ev is disgusting and pathetic. Oh, he, damn. he keeps changing the goalposts. He said, well, let's see you win a playoff game. Hey, we beat the SEC champs, something you guys couldn't dream of doing in 100 years. <laughs> so to then downplay well, now, We're the only Big Ten that's down, won a national title. Kneel down, fat boy, and put Michigan's dick in your mouth. We fucking own you. Well, I just want to congratulate. I know I've been tough on hard rock. Congratulate him on tying Ryan Day on the all-time playoff wins list. That was a big accomplishment Pathetic. for him. Pathetic. It's a fact. 
your whole little aliens, whatever. That's a fact. Real world fact. What I just said is a fact. Indisputable. The okay. high noon game day package is the national championship. Of course, we have the high noons in front of us. We've got the tequila, the peach, the El Prez pack is still out there as well. The tangerine is phenomenal. We love high noon, highnoonspirits.com. So we've been talking about it enough. Washington and Michigan. Michigan right now favored by four and a half. The over under at 55 and a half. We talked a ton about the Rose Bowl, Dan. The Sugar Bowl, though, for a long time, it was not a close game. It felt no. like it was, And then the very end, Washington almost just let Texas win that. The, the play calls by Sark at the end of the game were just absolutely mind-blowing. But by the end of that game, it ended up being very, very close. But Michael Penix is insane. He was incredible. And that, that I mean, Washington kind of fucked around there. Like, they, that, that one drive when they, had, uh, they were up 13 and they ran two trick plays, it was, it was very bizarre of them. But that's what they do. They win close games. Um, the end, like, couldn't have – it was basically a perfect storm to get Texas enough time and get down the field with the penalty and the guy getting hurt. But Washington does it again. I mean, their, their defense is playing great. There's a chance that we look at this and Michigan is, you know, the, the best team, and there's a chance Washington and Oregon are the second and third best teams in the country. You know what I mean? Like, this is we, – we, we dismiss the Pac-12, but Washington has been through the gauntlet and they're, they're an incredible, incredible team. And it feels like, and Brandon, you and I have talked about this as well, that they, a lot of people, you did not, but a lot of people disrespected them against Oregon in the Pac-12 championship, thought it was going to be a blowout. Nine and a half point under. And yes. then that a lot of people didn't think they could beat Texas. Here they are. Now, where do you stand on them in Michigan? Well, nobody wants Washington to win this game more than I do. I want Washington to, I would, Why? Uh, waking up Tuesday to a Washington national title would be the one of the greatest days of my life. That's how pathetic I am. But, but... In this world, in this society, evil wins. Yeah, you don't get you don't get to smile. Cheating wins. I don't get to smile. A, a shithead like that, that's who gets to smile. Patriots fans, Boston fans, who've cheated year in, year out. Now it just passed he passed on the cheating to Michigan, and they're you, going you to bet. Win. get it in, get so it in. I'm getting it in. Shut the fuck up. I'm getting it in. <laughs> So oh, gonna, what what did what was that thing when you like care to make it interesting? What like what was that? I like, just thought you might want to you might want to make it at least interesting to put up something. What, what, but like, what did you have in mind? You're a you big made fat this pussy. Thing. You did this blood oath without a care in the world. You're a before big they fat pussy, and you won't put up any risk. You won't put up any risk whatsoever. Anything. What what like what anything. did you have in mind? What what he wants cash? Play? He wants cash. Give me money. Give me give me not even cash. Give me a free bet. For if, if, if Michigan doesn't win, why would I do that? Uh, there he goes. He's a pussy. He's a pussy. All right. I would love Washington to win this game. I think I we all know do. where it's going. Guys like this win, and good guys don't. It's a fucking pathetic world we live in. So your pick is Michigan. I'm not picking this you, game. Okay. You have to pick this game. Under. How, Brandon, under, how under. stunned. I'm, pick, I'm picking under. Under 55 and a half. I'm picking under because I truly, and this is my true analysis here, if Texas had committed to the run in the first quarter and kept doing it, they would have won that game, but they didn't. They averaged seven yards a carry. Guess who wants to run every single play? Michigan. They want to use that offensive line. They might not have to throw a pass. I feel like they could they could take the air out of the ball, have eight-minute drives, and win this game like 24-10 to 10 and be happy as hell. I think that's what's going to happen. We talk a lot about how J.J. McCarthy played, but, I mean, Blake Corum down the stretch of that was Oh, phenomenal. Blake Corum's a fantastic football player. And their defense hey, Brandon, is very good. Hey, Brandon, how mm-hmm. stunned were you in that first half when you just saw what was happening to your beloved SEC? Oh, boy. So I was like you. When they got to halftime, I felt Alabama was down 17. They had gotten dominated, bludgeoned, destroyed. When they were only down three, I did have hope. I thought, okay, well, Saban's going to fix it. And he did. But he didn't fix it long enough, and he allowed Michigan back in the game. Um, but, yeah, I, the first half was very impressive. The second half, not as much. But you're playing for a national title. Great, great. Yay. Yeah, Michigan yeah, we are. Is, is very yeah. good. Ev, I'm going to let you pick this game before we move on here. I assume you have the same feeling that Brandon does. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a weird. Obviously, I don't want Michigan to win. I've also – I think I'm like – Why? Big Ten brothers. Oh, fuck off. Um, I've also – I must be like, oh, I bet it gets Washington 100 times. I've lost every time. Now I need them desperately. I, I do think it's a close game. I do agree with Brandon. They should Michigan should be able to run the ball. I mean, I'll take the points. I actually think it's going to be higher score. I like the over too, but I don't know. It's, this is far what, away. What, I'm, what do you want me to say? I, this is the best quarterback Michigan's faced. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the over as well with Big Ev, and it's simple because Michael Penix has been so phenomenal, mm-hmm. and I know Michigan's defense is very, very good. 
Michael Penix has played 14 games this year. He's been sacked 12 times. Yeah, that's crazy. That's not just offensive line. That's him being able to get rid of the ball and, and timing and all that stuff. Texas was getting after him. Texas was getting after him, but he was still making yeah. plays. So I think that the, Washington will still have the ability to push the ball downfield. Michigan's secondary is phenomenal. Um, but I do think that, like, especially game flow, I think you get Michigan up early, Washington pushing. Uh, so I, I'm going to take the over. I'm going to take Michigan, and I said this when they played Alabama as well, that their defense, I mean, I know that the Big Ten has not jumped off the page for offenses, but Michigan having the defense that they did all year, we saw them play against Alabama. Michael Penix is by far the best quarterback they've seen all year, but I think that defense is going to stand up in the trenches the way we've seen all year. Dave, I assume you're taking Michigan? Yeah, well, I'm not betting the game, which should tell you how I feel about it because the points to me is too much, and I respect the hell out of Washington. I think by far the best offense Michigan has played. I think Michigan wins it. I think it's very close. This is the scariest. I truly believe this is one and two. Like, I think these are clearly the two best teams in college football. Uh, and, and what scares me, you can throw guys open. And Penix has been like Penix has been dropping balls in buckets. There's almost no defense to some of the passes he's been making. So that worries me. Um, I am certainly not overlooking this game. Uh, I, I'll if I bet it, which I just said, I, like I don't know what I do. I don't like the point spread. I, I think Michigan wins. I think this is going to be another classic, classic game. Yeah. No, Michael Penix, you're right, Dave. It's the Dan Marino. There's no defense for the perfect pass. There he's is. been doing that. And it's not even just like everything about it looks like a movie. Like the way the spiral, like just everything is is gorgeous. But Brandon, you're frustrated at Dave's. Why are you frustrated right now? Ah, oh, it's just he's, he's being a pussy. He's not betting it out. Well, four and a half. I the spread is like oh, that's fine, I, but it's, it's, it's game. Well, when's so it going to be? When's he going to have a chance to bet on Michigan's by national field title goal. game again? But what happens? What, what, that, the, the problem is if they win by, like he said, like if you win well, by a field goal, you you can't be happy and then also lose money. Let me ask you this, Dave. Real question. Let's say Washington wins. Let's just say Washington wins. At that point, for Michigan, it's over, right? Like it's, Harbaugh's going to leave. McCarthy's gone. Everything. This is your one. This is your one shot at glory. What if you don't get it? No, 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 no. I, obviously, I'll be devastated. Good. I've said all along, we had to win a playoff game, or this year we got we we killed the SEC. I think Washington is great. You're you're not talking about Mississippi State making some miracle run through raindrops to this is our third playoff. We're expanding the playoffs. Michigan's going to be in the playoff every single year for the rest of the time. So no, the, again, is Alabama dead because they lost? No, their premier I mean, program. They'll be back. Is be next Michigan year. is a, yeah. What, what do you think? Michigan didn't exist before Harbaugh got there. Michigan is the winningest program in the history of college football. We are college football. 70% Michigan in the crowd, 30% Alabama. No, I want to win, but we are here to stay, Brandon Walker, you dummy. You fucking liar. All right. I, it's it's crazy that Buckeye Brandon, <laughs> of all the teams for you to, like, hook your fucking anchor to, you decided to go with this Ohio State I thing. didn't hook they're, anything they're, to Ohio State. They're, they're dead actually there in Columbus. State I, I hooked it to everybody that played Michigan. I never hooked it to Ohio State. Fine, then that, you, fine that you decided you were going to just be anti-Michigan. Of all the teams. Dan, you've worked before. You've been with Dave forever. You've been doing this for a long time. You've seen him win in all the professional sports teams he roots for. And I, it looks like we have a good chance of him rounding it out with Michigan. How does that make you feel? I, listen, I, it's it's kind of inevitable. Um, and I do love Harbaugh, so that doesn't change anything. And also, I, I said this uh, for the national semifinal. Like, I kind of leaned Alabama, but in, a, in like a gambler brother, like through the wars, I could never do that. When he had a million dollars on Michigan, I was very happy for him. That's a bet of a lifetime. You, I mean, like, Huge. that's – It's insane. Yes. my so. best day gambling I've ever had. Yeah. And so, like, if Dave's – like, if you, if I tell Dave I got a big bet, he's going to root for me. I had to – you know, I'm rooting for him. So. And you're still holding on to a little bit of hope that Jim Harbaugh – I think he's going to go to the Chargers, so that's probably gone. But um, I do think he's going to go to the Chargers. Yeah. Sad. Okay, let's get to trivia with Brandon Walker. All right, here's your <laughs> trivia. The last time that the Michigan Wolverines won an outright national championship, which conference did they play in? That is your trivia question. Which conference did the Michigan Wolverines play in the last time they won an outright national championship? Easy Big question. Ten. I don't know. Big Ten? Big Ten. Big Eight? 
Big Eight. No, Big Eight is not. It was uh, in the 40s, so. Yeah, it, was it was in 1948. It was, it was yeah, some it was almost 40s. 80 years ago. Mm -hmm. It's been it a long, long time. Big Ten, I consider 97 outright. That's not outright. How, how would that be outright? That's a split national title. Yeah, I mean, a ball bounced off a foot. That's a split like national overtime. title. Nebraska yeah. also so what's has the answer? The Big Nine, oh, the which Big I nine. never knew it was called the Big Nine. I've never heard of that. But the Big Nine was the conference in uh, 1948, the last oh, time Michigan won, some 75 years ago. So you know who was very gracious, unlike some of these other fucking absolute degenerate lowlifes on this set? Kirk Herbstreit yep. sent me a nice text. He's an Ohio State guy. Congratulations. It's good to see the class of the Big Ten rise. I, you know, I congratulated you. Yeah. When? Where? I sent you a, I sent you a text that said congratulations. Did you really? No, he said one. No. He said, fuck you. No, that was a different one. I, I did. I congratulated him. No. No, I don't think that the first text that was sent was uh, "suck my cock," SEC like that, that. You sent that. Yeah, you didn't say that was the first communication. I mean, you, there's no way you said congratulations. Like that's, SEC that's crazy. can suck my cock, you ass face clown. You said fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, All right. yeah. Revisionist history. Let's go to the Pizza Hut hut take of the week. Pizza Hut may not have invented pizza, but they sure made it famous. Whether it's a team celebration or a casual get together with friends, no one out pizzas the hut. Order now, Dave, your last Pizza Hut hut take of the year. That we killed the SEC forever. Mm. I think I like there's it. always cyclical things in sports. The SEC has controlled college football for, I don't know, how long, decades? It's done. Michigan has wrestled back control. And don't forget, next year this would be an all Big Ten championship. Mm -hmm. The teams that are coming in. So now, college football runs through the Big Ten, period. SEC's dead. Buckeye Brandon, dead. Well, how would Buckeye Brandon be dead if the SEC... Because you're an that SEC That doesn't make any guy. fucking sense. You're an SEC guy. I met you, the fine, Brandon Walker, dead. Okay, that's better. Dan, your hut take? Uh, my hut take, I'm drinking a little Kool-Aid because we just interviewed him on part of my take. Uh, Jimbo Fisher's going to win a national title again. What? Yeah. You like that? I'm drinking the Kool-Aid. He was a great guest. He also started the interview. He's like, I saw Jerry just hit it. So <laughs> I like Jimbo Fisher. Yeah. Yeah. You just, as soon as he leaves A&M, you decide to like him? Yeah. No, he, I mean, he was very affable, like fun interview. And yeah, he was. Where's he going to coach? I don't know. Wherever. Seem happy to get out. Very happy. Well, yeah. I mean, wouldn't you be? just got paid like $90 million to not work. He's like uh, that Scientology documentary when you get out of the cult. And you're like, the escape. Whoa, yeah. my life feels better now. Oh, this is what Earth feels like. Yeah, right, right. No, no, Dan, I thought we'd come back around on A&M, no? No, well, Jimbo Fisher, he, he coached at A&M. But you didn't like him when he was there. Yeah, he's going to win a national yeah. title. I'm, you I'm, know what? That, would, that would actually happen to Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would go win a national title yeah. somewhere else. Brandon, what's your hut take? I will abide by the blood oath when the blood oath kicks in, when it is time. But as for How's now. How's that a hut take? As for now, my hut take is cheating works. Cheating is being rewarded. Jim Harbaugh missed half the season for various cheating allegations, whether it was recruiting related or Connor Stallions related. He missed half the season, and we're rewarding that team with a national title. They're about to win a national title. Why would you we're not rewarding? cheat? Why would you not, Dave? This is my hot take. Why would you not deflate the balls? Why would you not spy on practice? Why would you not do steroids like all the Red Sox back in the 2000s? Why wouldn't you cheat? Michigan goes out and cheats. They were getting their ass kicked for a decade by Ohio State. They changed the way they did business. They cheated, they cheated, they cheated, they cheated. And here they are. They're going to win a national title. Cheating works. Good hot take. Good hot take. All right, Ev, your hot take? Uh, my hot take is that the national title game goes to overtime. Classic game. I think it's close. Oh, I think it goes to OT. I'm I, Ev, I can't even, as your friend, Listening to your tone of voice, it's like I, my heart breaks. I can tell you're broken and dead inside. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously. <laughs> what you, what, I, 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 of course. He's not even yeah. trying I've to argue. No, I have nothing to live for. This but is so hard for me because I do care about you. Mm. You've, been, I thought you've, been, you've been a little meaner this episode, actually, than I thought. Than I thought you would be. Meaner? A little yeah. bit. I mean, you've been kind of an asshole. You what? You thought he wasn't going to rub this in? <laughs> I thought I'd I thought he rubbed it in a little bit, but I thought I've been a gentleman. Tune in next week. We're going to do another show if Michigan wins. <laughs> no, just Dave. Just... <laughs> I bet you. <laughs> if Michigan wins, I feel like we have to. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm going to get a text from Platinum and be like, Dave wants to do a show. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, we would have to. Um, Ev, going off of yours, my hut take, and I mean, this is really not a hut take at all. If the national championship is close, it's going to be by far the best four-team playoff we've seen because we've seen one bad semifinal game or two bad semifinal games and good national titles. The fact that we had two great games on New Year's Day, and then I do think this national title game is going to be awesome, and then you go into the 12-team playoff, it's going to be a great set. i got to tell you, Casey, and Dan's mentioned it, I was up at 5.20 a.m., uh, the day of the Rose Bowl, Pacific Coast time, went to the Rose Bowl parade, sat there in, in the bleachers watching the crowd. The Michigan band goes by. We're cheering. We're doing Hail the Victors. I knew we we're in great shape because Alabama doesn't really have a fight song, at least not one that anyone knows. I mean, and then you walk from the Rose Bowl parade, the Tournament of Roses, down to the Rose Bowl, and everyone's going, and everyone's drinking high noons, the crowd. The sun sets over that stadium. Rich Eisen, we're high five. And Warren Moon, I, I don't know if I'll see him, was behind me. Uh, Mark Ingram, tears in his eyes. He was in the booth. It's what college football was. And I just hope everybody has that day where your team, your alma mater, is out there hoisting that Rose Bowl trophy, singing your fight song together. And I don't know, 70,000 of your brothers and sisters just reliving like what it means to be a Michigan Wolverine. I hope everybody on this panel can experience that one day. That's my wish for 2024 for everybody here. I appreciate so I have, appreciate hopefully I that's that. nice enough for you. I appreciate that. I, I has won the Rose Bowl last couple of years. I appreciate that. I would love to feel that feeling. I don't yeah. think well, I will, but did I... They win, when did they win it? They won it two years don't ago. Don't do this yourself, three. Ed. It's don't do this to yourself. Who who they play in the next don't game? Don't do don't do this to yourself. Oh God! Oh, don't, yeah, back out, back out, back yep. out. Let's go to the Roback <laughs> Dog of the Week. Yeah, Roback Dog I'm of the Week. I'm already dead. Like it's yeah, like it's like you're shooting. Yes, I'm, a, it's I'm a dead dog. Another bullet. Into, <laughs> no, walking, another no. bullet in my head isn't going to do anything. I didn't hear. Who do they play in the yeah, championship? I'm already yeah, dead. Don't do it. Just, you can't you can't kill a dead man. Roback Dog of the Week. Grab your gear for football season. It's almost over, but Roback is always good. Brain and I look how cute we are. We're matching in our nice little fleeces. Go to Roback.com and use code Football for twenty percent off your first purchase that's r-h-o-b-a-c-k dot com polos shorts hoodies and more with code football dave your rowback dog of the week for the final week of the college football season this is a serious one mason graham number 55 michigan defensive line monster absolute fucking terrorizing monster he won the game on the second down play which he fucking absolutely blew up uh he's my dog of the week and if that defensive line comes to play and can get pressure, like, I listen, I thought Milrow was a, a runner, and he had some runs. We also sacked his ass five fucking times. Uh, he's my dog of the week. Mason Graham, he was my player of the game. Controlled the line of scrimmage. Dan? My dog of the week, um, I hate to do this because I don't really want to have our producer be happy at all, but uh, it is the Arizona Wildcats. The way they finished this season, 10-3, and three, beating Oklahoma, uh, in their bowl game, that is the team that uh, you point to and you say, I can't wait for the 12-team playoff because they played great ball down the stretch. Mm -hmm. The Pac-12 might be way better than we thought, um, so they're my dog of the week. Brandon? So my dog of the week is uh, former Mississippi State Bulldog running back Dylan Johnson. Uh, Dylan Johnson transferred to Washington. He's now playing for a national title, but they don't get there without him. Over the last six games of the season, Penix – Struggled a little bit. He had some nagging injuries, and they slowed down the passing offense, and they stepped up the running offense, and the running game that they had kind of propelled them into the playoff where Penix took over again. So Dylan Johnson. Uh, so let me be nice again. Credit to him and Brandon Walker acknowledging that if you want to compete for national Shut titles, the fuck up. you the have fuck to up. leave Stark Shut the fuck up. and go other places. You have to go to the Big that Ten. Is Yes, that is a the, credit well, he's to in the Brandon Walker. He's not in the Big Ten. He's yeah. in the Pac-12. He's in the future. Credit player. to you, Brandon, admitting that you, if well. you want to compete on a national scale, Cheat you have to get out of Stark. Cheat your fucking dick off. Cheat. Well, he Big Al, what's your dog? That was a compliment. I thought that was a nice compliment. Ev. <laughs> Mine's uh, Roma Dunza, a stud receiver for Washington. Take us over receiving yards in the national title game. Well said. Yeah, I, I do feel like your tone of voice has just increasingly he's gotten crushed. worse throughout the day. Um, he's, he's crushed. Yeah, I'm just okay. waiting to get back on the plane home. <laughs> <laughs> 
So Brandon, I was I was going to talk about Ole Miss being my dog of the week, but I didn't want to do that to you, so I'm not going to do that. Although I think Ole Miss is going to be very very good next year. I'm going to do Jack and Jackie Harbaugh. By the way, yeah, Jack Harbaugh is just Jim Harbaugh with like an old person filter on. They yep. look identical, but their whole super stitches seat switch and the interview after the game it just makes complete sense why Jim Harbaugh is the way that he is. So those are my dogs of the week. Proper picks presented by Proper Number 12 Irish Whiskey. Rich and smooth Proper Number 12 Irish Whiskey for every bottle sold. A donation is made to support our brave first responders. Order your bottle now from Drizzle today. Big Cat, pour I don't, the roar. You don't, I don't have, have it. No it proper here, number but 12. you know I love the Proper yeah, Number 12. Proper number 12. Uh, Dave killed everybody this year. Yep. The standings. He yep. went 11-3-1. I just stopped picking weeks ago. So congratulations, Dave, for that. Thank you. What? What? You got it? Well, no, I don't have one. Oh, oh, oh there we go. It. Ev's got it. Ev's got <laughs> proper number 12. Ev, Ev Love has it. it. Okay, so proper number 12. Again, every shot goes to support our brave first responders. Dan, what is your proper pick? Uh, I'll take season? the over in the national title game. That'll be my proper pick. Brandon? I will take the under in the national title game. That'll be my proper Blood pick. Blood duel. Ev? Over. I said over 55 and a half. Yep. Okay, Points. I'm going to take Michigan minus four and a half. Dave? I'm going to take uh, the University of Michigan minus four and a half to win the national title to win the Michigan Wolverines to win the national title. The Michigan Wolverines to win he broken? the national title in college football. Mm. The Michigan Wolverines to win the national title in college football. Okay, so he's stuck. No, I mean what a beautiful place to be. I am so excited, so excited for Monday. I can't even tell you. Yeah. Oh, if they lose. I mean, the we're going to do a live podcast after that game, and if they lose, I feel like I'm going to just – I know. I was kind of like – there. I am split, like, because I'd love to be there and make, like, Walker be there and that, but it's like – to be in the crowd, like, I, my, I, I don't know. Yeah, I've you're been never going to get the chance again. Big games. i got to be there and celebrate Wait. with my brethren. There's nothing, I assume, like hearing your fight song – with confetti coming down and you host the national championship trophy. I've never had that happen to me live. I'm hoping it happens on Monday. Didn't when we I'll let you guys know how it feels. Whenever we were in Ann Arbor, you were FaceTiming Tom Brady. Didn't you guys say you were going to both be there? Didn't Tom Brady? I, I thought we were talking Rose Bowl. Oh, I thought you were talking about the national. I don't know if he's going. I don't know. I guess we'll see. So we do have to do our final top 10 of the year presented by Viva La Hooters. Head over to your local Hooters at any time. Football season is coming to an end. The NFL has a few weeks left. But go over and hashtag Viva La Hooters. Every single week we'll give a $50 gift card to the Barstool to store. Ev, the you've been riding with Hooters all year. Where we taste we taste different flavors each week all year. This week's flavor is original medium. Down to the Hooters app and enter uh, coupon code Barstool23. $5 off your order of $50 or more. Valid at participating locations only. Check with the Hooters. That's Barstool23. $5 off your order. So this is the final top 10 I think we're projecting of what it would look like after the national championship game. Right, Brandon? I don't know why. It would, I don't know what the top 10 this week entails. I just put Washington, Michigan, number one and number two, and then the okay. rest of it is. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is the so final. That's what I did as well. Michigan, Washington, Texas, Bama, Georgia, Florida State, Missouri, Ole Miss, Ohio State, and Oregon. I'm, that's exactly I, who cares? I'm one and yeah. two. There's two teams yeah. left. It's actually a real question. Like leading up to that Alabama Michigan game, the Big Ten was losing every which way possible. Did you guys get like, were you like, oh, that matters? You knew it. The only two games that people care about are the, are the ones that are left. It, the, the, definitely the only two games were the playoff games. But I think Brandon and I talked a little bit about the Ole Miss game and what that could potentially look like, but Penn State was sitting a bunch of players too. So, I mean, the only two games that mattered were the semifinal games. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's the one that was in his head telling himself that the Big Ten kind of stinks. That was him. Well, that was for Michigan. No, I, when only. did I say that? Well, you said it for uh, you said it for Michigan ears only, but I saw it. Well, well then no, no that doesn't count. You it was uh, yeah, you're not Michigan ears, so you didn't see it. He didn't say it unless you're Michigan. How that works. Fuck no, it was Michigan eyes only, and you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so yeah. the Hooters girls are still coming in. Y'all come on in. There they are. There they there are. They are. Hi. Yes. All right. Hello, girls. Thank you for bringing in the wings. And like we've said, Hooters has been with us. Uh, been with Dave since the very beginning of Barstool, been with us for the last couple of years on the road as well, so thank you so much. Yes. Ev, how do those wings smell over there? Fantastic. Fantastic. Some wings, Ev. All right. Give Ev some wings. The, yeah. the, the, the yeah. poor guy's down on his luck. He's a dead man. <laughs> it's 
Stick it down his throat. Stick it down his gullet. All right. So, Dave, I don't know if the, we're going to have another show or not. I'd imagine that if Michigan wins, we probably will be sitting back here so you can have your moment. But is there anything else you'd like to say as we Well, I just know season? how I would react or act if I was in the shoes of Big Ev or Bran Walker. And I would wish them luck if their team were in the national title. I think they should wish me luck. We're going for immortality here. And I think as a show, it would be good for somebody on this panel to have a national title in their pocket moving forward and, and bring some dignity here. So I, I, I hope we can all root together Monday night for the Michigan Wolverines to win the national title and establish their dominance over the United States of America in college football. Well, I, um, I certainly don't know if I speak for Big Ev. We haven't talked about it, but I, I for one, hope that you not only lose, I hope you get lost in Houston. I hope you go broke. I hope all the bad things happen to you and fuck you forever. Dave Portnoy. That is what that I hope. Is I don't know about you, a sad way Dave. to go through life. A miserable, sad way when your team is Mississippi I'm just, State. I'm just, that's just my thoughts. That's my thoughts, Big Ev. I'd prefer if you didn't go broke. I could you. I need, I need, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I need to get paid, but. The, the hand that feeds you. That is, that is nasty, Brandon, but you, you believe it with your heart, huh? It's nasty attitudes from nasty people. Really, fine. Really, truly. I, I just said nasty I hope you don't go people. broke. Yeah, I really yeah. hate this. That was very nice. I hate this human being. Okay. Well, that was the 2023 college football season for us. We'll be back probably next go week. Go blue. Yeah. Go yeah. blue. Monday night. Go. Good luck, Dave. Good go luck, Dave. Thank you. Good luck, Dave. Thank you. Let's bring this thing home. All right. We'll see you guys next year. <laughs>